are all lending platforms scams, Ponzi schemes, pyramids? I don't know. It seems like they could be. They're creating something from thin air, paying out people, you know, making some people rich, making some people lose their whole life savings, or people are making their own selves lose their own life savings. Or could it just be like, we're really giving them a loan to help them start their business? Because let's just say some lending platform comes out, you send them your Bitcoin, you switch it up, you lend this token back to this company that they created. They pay you some interest on it every day. You start seeing some revenue come in. It looks good. Some people go all the way up. And some people that come in later lose out. Now, when the bricks start to fall, you may think, this was a scam. It was a Ponzi scheme. And it may have been. But what if they were successful? What if this company... This blockchain technology based company was to actually be successful with your loans, with all the Bitcoin they got, and they actually accomplished something like the smart card that they say people should have eventually, like, uh, you know, different things, the stuff that they're promising 48% per month returns. Wow, how do you get that kind of money or more? Is it real? I mean, if they were actually successful and able to pull it off. Somebody's going to pull it off. I will say that. BitConnect, as we see, could not pull it off. Devore Coins trying to pull it off, but the coins way down to like $20 right now. But what if one of these companies actually pulled it off and became successful? Would that change the standard? Because right now the standards are very low, like I said, because of BitConnect and them falling off from their lending platform or their lending situation. But what if they actually had made it? People wouldn't feel the way they feel right now about these lending platforms. They would be more enticed, like, look at all this money they're making. People paying off mortgages. Grannies getting their money out of retirement, out of their retirement accounts and investing it. People are actually changing lives until the wall falls and the bricks start falling and the walls come crumbling down. But what if they made it? Because I'm thinking one of these companies are going to make it. We don't know which one. We don't know if any of them will make it. It's all a risk. Are you willing to take that risk? If not, don't get in it. You know, when you think about these lending platforms, you got to think it's like gambling. It's really what it is. I mean, you're at the casino. You're throwing dice. Is it going to be a 7 or 11? A 2, 3, or a 12? You don't know. Hard six. So you you one of them gamblers if you know what I'm talking about. Double down. You know what I'm talking about. The bonus. You know what I'm talking about. That's the stuff that we all hoping to get. The jackpot. 